Shout out to Daniel Nito. Hashtag blue team. Keep up the vids. I love it. Hope you make more further. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for the awesome comment, Daniel. He is our commenter of the day. If you would like a shout out, if you would like to be the commenter of the day, just leave a like down below. And of course, comment with the hashtag blue team for a random chance to be selected. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Power Simulator. It's been a little while. Honestly, haven't been playing that much. There's a lot of other simulators I've been playing. There's a lot of other stuff going on in real life with my move coming up, so I haven't had that much time to play. So my stats are pretty much the same. 500 billion endurance, 4 trillion psychic, 3.7 billion punching power. But with these abilities, we can still solo the robot boss. Now, once you log into the server, you've got to head up over here to your first endurance area. It says bots. There's a giant building that says bots. Very hard to miss. It's right here where you would have trained your endurance when you first started the game. You would have gone in here and you would have done the endurance. What you've got to do is head into the bots factory. I'm sure you guys know this because you've already played this. It came out like a week ago. Talk to this little guy here. He'll tell you to go find some keys. The keys are pretty easy to find. I'm sure you'll be able to find some video tutorials out there if you need to find them still. But I'll just show you what one looks like. If I can get into this building. Come on, dude. Oh, the key ain't there because I've already picked it up, right? That made a lot of sense. <laughs> Anyway, let's fight the Domo Origato Mr. Roboto. It's very easy, honestly. Like, that's sort of what turned me off the game. Like, I came in to play the update and the new robot boss. And I was, dudes, this is gonna be awesome. But it's not. It's really easy. And any of you can beat it to unlock the rocket ability just like I did. Right here, rocket with the U button. You have to click the portal twice. It has to say one of four players. I was dumb. I hadn't clicked it properly. Here we are. Starting in 24. Now, there's a couple of strategies. If you're a completely free-to-play player, your best shot is the energy sphere, and if you get lucky, the energy beam. For me, I'll be using Vortex because it's super easy to use. Also, maybe Seeker. I'll give Seeker a go as well because I never used it in the original fight when I beat this guy, but I feel like Seeker could actually be good. We'll see. All right, let's start our flying. Okay, he's going to shoot at us. If I press N, oh yeah, it does a little bit of damage. Okay, but for me, Vortex has been the most effective so far far. I do the vortex ability and even if I die, the vortex, if he stays in it, he keeps taking damage. It's very interesting. So let's get back over here. Oh, he's shooting at me already. Wow. All right. Let's throw the end ability at... Oh, it missed. It completely missed. Okay. That's not good. Let's press Y again and let's just run around so he'll keep following us and getting hit by it. All right. You've got to like get it just right and you've got to avoid his big punches at the same time. Then if he gets close, you can shoot the ground. He killed me, but I still hit him with the energy sphere. The problem with this boss fight is if you die, you don't actually miss out on anything. You just kind of, okay, that didn't actually target him. That's what the problem was. Let's use this ability again. Let's keep hitting him. Hopefully, okay, has it worked? No. Oh man, I'm trying to show you guys how this works. The vortex will keep harming him after I die, just like it does regular players. It's just, I can't get it right today. Let's throw this closer to him. There we go. That worked out. All right, let's see if he's going to keep coming after us like that. Now, the problem, like, mostly that I have with this boss is that if you try and use energy beam, he'll shoot you with rockets and you'll die. That's kind of where you'll struggle against this guy. But if you can finesse this ability correctly, you can do some serious damage with Vortex just by, like, man, that should... There we go. It is still not working. Great. Let's see what other skills we have in here that could be useful against the boss. I know that killing intent... I haven't tried repulse. Okay, I don't know how I would even pull that off. And power strike doesn't seem to do anything either. Where is he? There he is. All right, let's get the end ability. Boop. Let's see if I can get him close enough to me. All right, let's press X. Boom. That did nothing. Okay, so yeah, don't use X. <laughs> so they say as your endurance goes up, you do more damage to this guy. I honestly think if you wanted to kill this guy without dying, you would just consistently fly around in a circle as a like a free-to-play player. Press N. Oh no, the N can miss. So you would back off, which you can't really do. Oh no, wait, you teleport. Yeah, look at that. Get far away from him. My N ability is ready to go again. So while he's firing rockets, you'd go in fast, hit him with the N, and then boop. 
teleport away again. Oh, no, he followed me this time. Oh, use the floor. Run with the floor. Oh, I'm stuck in the floor. Oh, that was close. That was very close. Okay, is he still after me? No, he is not. Okay, so we'll fly in again. We're going to use the N ability. Here it comes. Boop. Hit him with the N. Hit him with the Y. Oh, die on top of him, maybe? If I die on top of him here, look at that. Oh, okay, they fixed Vortex. It doesn't keep damaging him. <laughs> and he was too close to spawn, so he's still able to attack me immediately. Let's throw this bad boy. Nope, that's not going to work. Okay, so we're going to want to teleport away. He's not after us. So we did a lot of damage because when he's shooting his rockets, he is most vulnerable, okay? That's the best time to attack because he can't really do anything to you while you're shooting the rockets. Oh, he still killed me. All right, the moment I spawn, he'll be attacking. So we got to run. Let's get over here. So it looks like his rockets will follow you no matter what. Let's do V. Okay, you cannot teleport away. Like you can't use invisibility to beat this guy. <laughs> when I originally played this boss, I think I killed him with like, I died maybe two or three times. I have died so many times. Times. This is so much harder when you're trying to like show stuff to people. What is that's not the ability I was looking for that won't even reach him I don't think no, he has a longer range than we do. What's the shield ability R? Okay, what happens if we put R on can he still hit us? I would assume that even with R on oh, I can't use any abilities with R on but he can use abilities Of course he can that's not fair game <laughs> That's how we managed to get some attacks off without dying I think that you really can like defeat this guy very easily with Without a single death if you're just smart about the way you fight him and you be careful that those rockets can follow you if you teleport while one is still being shot at you so we're going close again put this bad boy that didn't do anything let's teleport get away oh he's following us this time let's fly back in this was not the best demonstration but it, you can see how it would work look at that oh i actually let him hit me then that was silly and we'll teleport away again oh that wasn't a far enough teleport anything yeah look at that haven't died in a while now that I'm playing like a smarty brain. All right, we're going in again. All right, he's shooting. We should be fine over here. So you've really got to get the timing right when you shoot him with N. But I honestly think you could run in better. I don't know where he is. I have no idea where he is. I can't attack him because I don't know where he is. Is he up at the portal? He's trying to get out. <gasps> this guy. Yeah, look at that. Get the Y ability, mate. Get wide. Okay, you are definitely stronger on the ground. <laughs> don't fly around like I was doing. We're going to press Y and finish him off. Oh, I defeated Hexbit again. Again with the defeating of Hexbit. Good times. And we have the rocket ability, which immediately blowed up of course all right we're in a public server perfect let's get into disguise mode turn our auras off let's go out here hello oh wait 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 wait. when you press rocket it follows people whoa hey it does too ow i got shot by a rocket oh this person shot a rocket at me rocketed oh man the rocket is just like n then okay so it's just a reskin of the n ability and you can't use it on the ground oh no there we go so don't use this if there's nobody else around look at it it's following them <laughs> it's actually a cool version of the N ability because you throw it you're a bad person get electroshocked oh it didn't work sometimes you can break their shield I think all right look at this person he's gonna throw his ability but when he runs it's oh you can't see it because of the stupid giant ball of light let's do it again oh it's going after him it missed or it hit him I'm not sure oh look this guy's real dodgy all right you reckon let's throw a rocket at him get shot <laughs> it caught him the rocket's really fast so obviously today's video is a little bit late this boss has been out for well over a week by now and everybody's beaten it. So everybody has Rocket. Am I right? Like, it's not hard to get a hold of Rocket. In fact, it's a little bit of a shame how easy it is. So I'd really like to hear what you guys think of the whole thing. Like, is the Rocket... Would you like to see more bosses like this? Oh, did that guy die? No, the Rocket didn't kill him. Okay. Would you guys like to see more boss monsters added to the game like this? Or do you like the quest system like used in Atlantis? Because I think it's all pretty interesting. You think you could shoot me with your lasers? Oh, I hit shot at the wrong guy. Get rocketed, guy. Oh, I killed him. <laughs> Personally, the boss is really cool. I love the idea and it's strong. But when I die, I should be dead. You know, it, you can take up to four people with you. You should have to take four strong people to unlock rocket. It's obviously a good ability. Like, it's a faster version of the Seeker ability, so people can't escape it as easily as they can Seeker because it's so slow moving. I think it's a really good ability, and I think it should be way harder to get than it is. Hello? You're trying to knock me over, son? So it was a little bit delayed, but that is our look at the ability. That is the one. The only, the rocket, the boss monster. It's very awesome. 
awesome, but also disappointing. It could have been way cooler than it was. And that's what kind of bums me out about it, is it should be way cooler and it isn't. Look at this person, they're trying really hard to kill me. Get rocketed. Oh, you're wearing a shield now? Now you're dead. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm sort of waiting for the next Power Simulator update to see if I want to, like, keep making videos on it because there's, there's not a lot going on right now. There really isn't much going on. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, if you hope that the game updates and keeps being awesome, keeps being popular, let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a like and, of course, subscribe with those notifications turned on, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Time